Hi everybody. Springy Face, Simply Tarot. Sorry about the dogs. Not sure what they're barking at. Um, this is going to be a reading for Water Sign, the Sign of Cancer, for August 19th through the 25th of 2019. Cancer, August 19th. Five of Swords. Cancer, August 19th through 25th, 2019, please. Can I get another card for Cancer? August 19th through 25th. Can I get another card for Cancer? August 19th through 25th, 2019. Can I get another card, please? Okay. And then what was on the inside. Oh my goodness. On the bottom. That was underneath. The four of wands. Okay, we're going to take those. I feel like they belong. I feel like they belong with it. Okay, Cancer. Our first card is the Five of Swords. You may be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo, for one. And then, you know, swords represent the element of air. So that's um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see. Then we also have wands here. That's fire, the element of fire, which is um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Then we have our Ace of Cups. Cups you know, are the element of water, which you are, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You may be dealing with one of these signs. Um, I'm feeling uncertainty, change, and a feeling of freedom from something or someone, a situation. Now, that, you know, this, that may not be for everyone. <sighs> 
I feel you're you're taking back your power. You know, the Five of Swords is a card of protection. So I feel, you know, it's saying have no fear. Or, you know, trepidation or trepidation. Yeah, that's the word. Sorry. <laughs> on your path, you know. Um, as you're up on your path. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. No trepidation if you're up on your path. Yeah. I feel like you are limiting yourself due to surroundings, circumstances, yeah. You're, you're limiting yourself with boundaries. I feel change, ups and downs, highs and lows. I feel like you're you're also you may be focusing on frustration possibly even making yourself bitter to the point of being bitter but you know I still I'm I'm getting victory just let go of the bitterness the frustration let it go for you know a well-deserved and long-waited victory to come in. I keep seeing the word victory. Yes, yes, victory. I keep seeing the word victory. You know, and two, the Five of Swords, you know, that card can be a victory. I feel it is. I feel it, you know, it, it's like telling you what you aspire will come to fruition through focus and effort. Just, you, you know, focus and have effort. Pay, you know, put that forth. You know, I feel you've been, you'd been, had been. See, this is past. That's the way I've done it. Past, present, future. And then these were our extras. But I, I feel like you have been dealing with conflict with surroundings, maybe people, situations. But I'm also feeling strongly inner conflict within yourself. But I, I, I'm getting separation, permanent breakup of a partnership. I, I feel a marriage or either a like long-lived relationship where you've like been with someone for years for a long time a long amount of time but you know the five of swords you know it may also be warning of gossip Yeah. About the loss of someone's important to you. Huh. I feel like either you or someone you are, you know, having your life, someone you're dealing with. has been acting in a, you know, a selfish manner, may have been focused on self-gain, materialistic. I feel like this isn't you, though. I feel like this is someone else in your life. You, know, you could be dealing with a Gemini or Sagittarius also. I feel struggle. Either you or, or a person you're dealing with may be younger. 
I feel there, you know, there are more, I feel like there's more than two people involved. So I, this may be a third, third party in this situation. That's, that's, yeah. I mean, we don't have the three of swords, but that's what I'm feeling. More than one, more than two people. More than just a couple. Maybe taking on the energy of this Knight of Wands. You know, the Knight of Wands is often... Let me get it up here. Oh. Impetuous. That's the word. I think I'm saying it right. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, hopefully I'm getting it out right. And can be found in many walks of life. You know, this, this person has a tendency to make sudden decisions and then act quickly. Act on them quickly. The person taking on, you know, this energy of the Knight of Wands would usually be an, a, an attractive person and have an, an adventurous personality. Maybe a bit of a wild nature at times to them. That's, yeah. But I feel that, you know, this person will tackle any challenge they get put in front of them, they're going to tackle it. Yeah. You know, I feel this is a very generous and creative and enthusiastic person, whoever's taking on this energy. Someone who genuinely has a love for living life to the fullest. Someone who encourages others to do the same. You know, the, the Knight of Wands is related to the fire sign Sagittarius. So this person may be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in their chart or you may have Sagittarius in your chart. Or this person could be taking on this energy. Taking on the energy of, you know, of, of the Knight of Wands, of Sagittarius. I also feel that action is about to enter your life. I feel someone in this situation or situations I feel they're like a kindred spirit to you very close but I feel like someone in this whole equation needs to make an important decision or decisions I feel someone is on a quest for passion. Also, I feel that someone could be traveling. Maybe even taking a trip, traveling over water. Maybe going on a vacation. Yeah, could be going abroad. You know, this card can also be saying that there could be a change in of residence. So, you or someone may be moving. Yeah, moving away. It can also, this card can also mean a new relationship. Or a new business venture. And you know, we've got two, two knights here. We've got the knight of wands, and then we've got over here, the knight of swords. You know, and uh, 
two knights showing up together in a spread like this, a reading, can indicate mixed messages. Signals got crossed. That is causing doubt in someone's mind because things got crossed. They did, you know, the messages did not get relayed like they should have. This may have been done through honestly texting or something of that nature because many times through texting it's easy for things to get crossed or taken the wrong way you know it's not like talking to someone and expressing what you feel yeah and then you know we've got the knight of swords you could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. But I feel like you are taking on this, this energy, Cancer. You may have came across as having a domineering, overbearing attitude with someone. It's a good possibility. The Knight of Swords indicates the ability to adjust to change. But I feel, I feel like you're somebody that stands up for other people. Like would stand up for the underdog. And you know, if you take a look, take a look at the card. He's riding into battle. I feel a, a negative and stagnant situation will change soon. You know, I feel there will be a storm of change around an issue or situation. These changes, though, I feel brought upheaval or going to bring upheaval. Yeah, they're going to bring upheaval of some sort. But then a positive, positive opportunities will be shown. With this card, you know, it brings a message that someone will stand by you and support you even defend you when needed have your back basically this person that would stand by you is full of positive energy you know I feel that their energy is very strong and very positive. Sorry about that, the phone ringing. But you know, I, I feel like I feel like you're moving forward, charging forward. If you look, he's in the charge mode. Yeah. And then you know, here we have the strength card the card of Leo. So you may be dealing with a Leo. Or you may have Leo in your chart. Or someone you're dealing with may have Leo in their chart. Or they it's just may be the energy, you know. But I feel you have regained inner balance. You see how she is she's like one with with the line, but she's not you know, forcing. It's, it's like she's calmed the line. She has inner balance. I mean, that's that's what I feel. Inner strength. I'm feeling inner strength within a situation. And you know, I feel very positive changes. I feel moving forward with strength and courage. Yeah, that's what I feel. And then you know right here we've got here we've got the four of wands. Beautiful card. Maybe dealing with a Scorpio. But I feel you have, you know, 
a realization of your goals with this card. It's a number four. I feel you you are starting a new journey, a new venture with this card. I feel positive indication that relationships are going well. Problems will soon pa pass. Some they'll soon come to pass. I feel like you I feel like there's someone you have a connection with or someone is going to come into your life that will be romance that will be a romantic partner possibly that may even lead to commitment yeah I feel a strong need for you to leave the past in the past and enjoy life today I feel you are receiving a, a reward from the universe, something from heaven, for your efforts and hard work that you've done in the past. And then, you know, we've got the Ace of Cups here. I'm feeling happiness within the home, success. And it will not be for everyone but I feel a new relationship, love, and many emotions being spilled out. You see that water? You know, water's about emotions. And look, it, it, that water's just spilling, spilling over that cup. Yeah, it's just, it's just spilling out. I feel growth. I feel unconditional love being expressed, deep feelings, intimacy. I feel, you know, that this person could be a new sexual partner. Passion. Extreme passion. Total con contentment. Extreme happiness. And this card is an element of water. Cancer. Yeah. Cancer. I'm getting an upspurge of feelings and emotions within a new relationship. I'm feeling the beginning of love. You know, in an ace, aces can, you know, it can represent a window of opportunity that is opening up to you. And the Ace of Cups tells you, pay close attention so you don't miss this opportunity. You know, this is like a seed of possibility that will grow, giving the attention and care, Cancer, that it needs to grow into something beautiful. This is a card of many blessings love, health, joy within the home. But for relationships to, to flourish, they need attention. So the seed can grow into something special. You know, Ace of Cups is, is related to number one, indicating new beginnings, new beginnings. new opportunities an offer you know or a gift may be forthcoming in the near future I feel and I also feel for some financial affairs will begin to improve yeah that's what I got I mean that's what I've got you know this may be for several different people maybe for one but maybe for several different people you're a cancer take what resonates leave the rest doesn't resonate don't take it check your birth chart because this is cancer sun moon rising and venus very emotional reading yeah
but uh, if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up that way the message YouTube will you know let the video get out there whoever needs this message can get it if you don't like it give it a thumbs down that works too um, if you haven't subscribed if you'd like to see future content subscribe hit that little bell that will let you know every time that I upload but it you know my channel is mixed I have many 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 creative adventures that I do so um, but and with that being said have an awesome awesome night bye